A Miami's Burke captive, a local man detained in North Korea reportedly over his actions with the Bible. Tonight, we're asking the State Department and state lawmakers how this could happen. The 2 News Investigates team has been digging into this story all day. Pam Elliott has been contacting local lawmakers about what, if anything, the federal government can do. But we begin with Natalie Tendall live in Miamisburg reaching out to those who know Jeffrey Fall. Natalie, what have you learned? According to Korean and Japanese news reports, 56-year-old Jeffrey Fowl, who lives in this home near Miamisburg, was on a tour trip in North Korea last month. He was detained after he allegedly left a Bible in the hotel room he was staying at. Why would he be there? That's not the only thing I can think of is why would he be there? Now, we spent the day asking neighbors about Fowl. One neighbor told us he goes to church with the family and said Fowl has three children and a wife here. They attend Bethel Baptist Church in West Carrollton. We tried contacting the family but have not heard back. The church has no comment, but the parishioner we spoke with says Fowl's depart or detainment has been a topic of discussion and prayer. Most of the neighbors we talked with said Fowl was new to the neighborhood and were shocked he would even go to North Korea. Somebody ought to do something. I mean, you know, I mean, especially if the gentleman has done any kind of service, you know. Uh, you know, I mean, seem like we ought to get some help somewhere. I mean, you know, I, for whatever reason he had, you know, I don't know, you know. But you would think that you wouldn't be detained if, you know, if you were to be going. Even if you want to go visit, you know, I mean, you shouldn't be detained. Now, the U.S. State Department says they are aware of the detainment, but they're not commenting further on the case at this time. Fowl is one of three Americans right now currently held and detained in North Korea. Live in Montgomery County, Natalie Tendall, 2 News, working for you. All right, so what is being done by those we count on to represent us in Washington, D.C.? Pam Alley continues our team coverage tonight with what local lawmakers are saying and doing about this. Pam? Well, Mark and Katie, I've been in touch with the offices of Congressman Mike Turner, House Speaker John Boehner, and Senator Sherrod Brown. There are few details at this time, but all of the lawmakers indicate they are in touch with the State Department. Now, I received this statement from Congressman Mike Turner's office. I am deeply troubled by the, the detainment of American and Miamisburg resident Jeffrey Edward Fowle by the authoritative government of North Korea. Now, we have been in contact with the State Department and will continue to carefully monitor Fowle's detainment as we await the release of additional information. That from Mike Turner. Now, Senator Brown. He says, the detention of any American citizen in North Korea concerns me, especially one with Ohio ties. The State Department is currently gathering additional information on the cause of the detention, and I will work closely with State as we learn more about this case. My thoughts are with Mr. Fowl and his family, and I will be sure the State Department does everything it can to ensure the safety of U.S. citizens abroad. Congressman Boehner now is also aware of the recent reports in the press involving Americans who are believed to be detained in North Korea, but is awaiting further details from the State Department at this time. I was in touch with the State Department myself, and here is the statement I received from spokesperson Noel Clay. We are aware of reports that a U.S. citizen was detained in North Korea. There is no greater priority for us than the welfare and safety of U.S. citizens abroad. Also, the department is encouraging you, if you have any plans to travel abroad, you check out the website travel.state.gov. It strongly recommends against U.S. citizens going to North Korea. Pam Elliott, 2 News, working for you.